everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are back for another weekly grocery haul for a family of four that's soon to be five. I'm expecting my fifth in July of 2023. And let's get into this grocery haul and what we picked up this week. So this week we kind of adjusted our budget. We've been noticing that for the past like three weeks we've been going over budget. We typically like to stay somewhere between 70 to 85 dollars per week but we've been noticing obviously with inflation and the price of things just going up we kind of had to adjust our expectations of what we would need to spend for a week so now that we know that uh we're trying to stay somewhere around between 90 to 100 and we will i'll tell you everything that we got and whether or not we stayed in budget and what tips that we did this time that helped so first let's start with the fruits so this week i picked up a bag of honey crisp apples again this is something that i usually pick up every single week um we love to have apples as snacks and lately to be honest as a pregnancy craving i've been like eating these apples and making them as pie i've been making a pie at least once a week and it's been so delicious and at least we've been going through the apples another thing that we need to pick up this week was blueberries um, i hadn't picked blueberries up in a couple of weeks just because we've been going through them a lot slower so we actually fully ran out of blueberries so i went and picked some up this week I picked up some strawberries. This was on my grocery list. I stuck to it and we needed some strawberries. We didn't pick one up. We didn't pick some up last week just because we took a lot longer to get through it. Sorry, you'll get my kids, but they live here. It's okay. But we went through strawberries this week, of last week, and so I picked up some strawberries. Next, I picked up some grapes. Honestly, the last time we picked up grapes, they weren't all they weren't that best of the best of quality. And this time I went back to my good old red seedless because the green ones just weren't doing it. And so I picked up some red grapes and I'm probably gonna go through these this week or probably by the weekend they'll be gone. Now, everyone knows if you've been watching my grocery hauls, I'll put some below and some in the cards at the end of this video. But you guys have known my <laughs> new obsession with Cara Care oranges. I saw someone on YouTube say that they had had Cara Care oranges. I had never heard of it. I bought them and now I'm obsessed and I eat them multiple times a day. They are so good, so sweet. And if you're not familiar with carrot carrot oranges, if you, when you cut into them, they almost look almost like a grape, like a smaller version of a grapefruit. The inside's a little bit more red or dark, dark orange, and it's so sweet, so, so good. I'm obsessed and I have these all the time. This week I was able to pick up more mangoes. I was so excited to have these. Um, these were actually cheaper this week. I think they lowered the prices and had normally been around like 99 cents per and this time i found them for about i think 85 cents per mango and i picked up three instead of my normal two and i'm so excited to have these now typically when i buy mangoes to make them last a lot longer what i'll do is i'll buy them pretty hard and i'll maybe buy one that's soft that i can have at least immediately but the others i'll buy pretty hard and then when i'm ready to have one in a few days i'll take one out and i'll put it on the counter just so it can ripen up and the ones i'm not ready to eat yet i'll just stick them in the fridge and they last quite a bit the same thing i do with avocados they can last actually quite a while in the fridge or when you're ready to use them just put them on the counter and they ripen up good tip to have we picked up quite a bit of vegetables um i realize that we have not been incorporating a lot more vegetables into our diet and so this week made a big change and I'm incorporating a lot more vegetables into our diets and I need to eat a lot more salads and gain a lot more weight in this pregnancy a lot quicker. So I definitely need to kind of cut down on some of the carbs that I've been having and I'm going to be eating some more vegetables and more um, more salads, definitely. So I picked up a bag of garden peas. These, we put them, I'll put them with rice. I'll have them on the side as with like dinner or lunch. So I'll grab these. And I got a bag of steamed broccoli stir fry. Again, this will be another side dish that I'll, I'll put on the side with dinner or lunch or anything like that. And these are also good to have on hand for something quick. I picked up a bag of baby carrots. I have not picked these up in a long time. I feel like the last time I bought baby carrots, we didn't go through them and I ended up sticking them in my freezer and I've been using them if I need to make chicken pot pie. I just cut them up with small bite sizes and I'll put them in chicken pot pie. So if you don't go through your, <laughs> your carrots, you can always stick them in the fridge when you see them in the pot to go bad. I picked up a bag of spinach. This is something that we normally pick up every single week. Um, we'll put them on, we'll have them as salads. Um, we'll have them with my wraps. I like to make chicken, um, chicken salad wraps every week or have them with tuna salad wraps. So this is one thing that we were missing, so I grabbed it. I grabbed a pack of green bell peppers. I typically like to get the ones that are all the like, colorful ones, but those were really expensive this week. I think they were like about three something a bag. And this one was about 150 or 160 on sale. So I picked this one up and said, and it's fine. It's gonna taste the same. I plan to make 
um, stuffed peppers, and I have not made that in actually quite a while. Again, I'm trying to change. I mean, we've been stuck in a rut. We tend to make simple meals, but I've been in the rut of making the same thing over and over and over again. And I need to start, you know, making new things, and I'm so excited to make some stuffed peppers again. I haven't had them forever. Another thing I picked up was zucchini. This is not something I normally pick up, but I'm, I plan to roast these and put them on top of my salads, with the kids' salads, side salads, or whatever. Um, again, trying to eat better <laughs> and eat healthier, so kind of trying to keep this baby a little bit smaller. I tend to have larger babies and it's already been measuring ahead, so I need to eat a little bit better, so these are gonna be a great little thing to add to my salads. I also picked up some tomatoes. This is something I normally always pick up. Um, I love to have them in a two pack, because this tends to be something that we'll probably eat through in a week or week and a half, so I may not even need to pick up some next week. I also picked up some avocados. I'll pick, I'll pick one up that's a little bit softer to the touch, which probably right back can actually eat this today. And I'll pick one up that's a lot harder and I'll stick it in the fridge and when it's ready to be used, I'll put it on the counter and it'll be ripe and these can last if you like to buy them a lot. Next, I picked up some turkey, kielbasa. My husband loves to have these on hand. He will bake it with his eggs in the morning. I will have these with the kids if we're making like a pasta, something really quick. This is something that we like to have on hand. I also picked up some bacon. This is something that we love to have on hand for breakfast or even sometimes with pastas. I'll chop some, I'll cook it up and I'll chop it up and put it in the pasta and it's so good. This is why I've been gaining weight. <laughs> Next, I picked up some fresh ground turkey. I have not picked this up in such a long time. Normally, I used to make like a lot of like taco bowls. So like always have some kind of ground beef or like chicken or something like that. And then I'll have chopped vegetables, peppers, whatever on the side and just build it up on top of a bed of rice and spinach. I haven't done that in a while. Again, I feel like we've been stuck in a food rut getting the same things over and over again. It is good to like kind of have the same routines, but again, we get boring with food. So I picked up this and we're probably, I'm probably gonna prep this this week and we'll probably eat through it during the week with some salads and rice and stuff like that. I also picked up ground beef. I always do pick this up um, once a week. I'll typically make a big batch of meatballs. Again, batch cooking helps us kind of like eat through our food and keeps us stuck to like making sure that we get through everything that we do buy. So I'll typically make a huge batch of meatballs once a week and then we'll have that um, to munch on throughout the week with different types of meals, like whether it is with spaghetti, whether it is with rice, or whether it's just like kind of just eating, popping a meatball as a little snack. I tend to make these in big batches. Normally I would have picked up a platter of chicken, but I just made a huge platter this week, well actually yesterday, so I don't I didn't need one for this week. So next week I'll pick up a platter of chicken and we'll be all set with that. And again, that's another thing that I make once a week is probably a platter of chicken and we'll eat it. We'll make um, chicken salad. I'll make, um, I'll cut the chicken off and eat it with rice. We just use it in different forms. And again, it keeps a protein in the fridge, something that's quick and easy where I just won't go into the fridge like, oh, there's nothing ready for me to make. And you know, now I wanna go eat out. That's kind of a tip that I have is making sure you have proteins cooked or whether it's or defrosted in the fridge. So then you're the less likely to go out to go get fast food or order in just you know because it's easiest, it's convenient. So that's what I love to do is have proteins cooked and ready in the fridge. I have some hash browns. I typically pick this up once a week. This is an easy breakfast for my kids and my husband. They like to have that as a side. My son will have it with his yogurt. And this is another quick idea. I also picked up some potato puffs. This, I normally never pick this up, but I thought this would be easy for if they have some kind of something for lunch, like chicken or something like that, they can have some potato puffs and have that as a lunch item. I also picked up two cans of black beans. This is something I normally do pick up maybe once every two weeks or once a week, depending on how fast we go through it, but I typically make bean sauce with these. Um, and so my kids will eat that with rice and it's such a good form of fiber. They love it, it's one of their favorites. My daughter was just asking for it when I was at the grocery store, so we picked that up. I also picked up some strawberry preserves. I have not picked this up in a long time. So this is a nut-free house. My husband has a severe nut allergy and I actually just ordered on Amazon some sunflower butter. I used to order that quite a lot, but it went really expensive for a while, so I stopped buying it. And the prices dropped, so I went and picked up um, a jar of that. And my daughter and I, we love peanut butter and jelly. And obviously, um, sunflower butter is not a replacement for peanut butter, but it'll be a good little alternative. So we'll have that, and I bought like, um, we call it a sandwich cutter so she'll think it's like an uncrustable and so that's gonna be something that we'll enjoy together. I also picked up this Chipotle Ranch. We love, love, love this sauce. I pick, I do tend to pick this up maybe once a week or once every other week depending on how fast we use this. We'll use it to dip our chicken. We'll use it to have salads. We love, love, love this sauce. It's our favorite. Next, we picked up some burrito wraps or tortilla wraps and we always have these on hand. I use them to make wraps 
lots of times throughout the week with fried chicken salad or, or if we have um, tuna salad or I'll make a quesadilla, we always have tortilla wraps on hand and I love, love, love having them. I also went to pick up some bread. I had just mentioned that I picked up some strawberry preserves. So, and I also bought um, some sunflower nut butter. So we're gonna make, I'll make some sandwiches for my daughter and see if she likes to have that for lunch and see if we can fool her into thinking that it's like peanut butter. But I'm so excited to have that. I also picked up a bag of rice. Um, this, we don't pick this up normally every week. Um, this is like maybe once every three weeks or so that we'll pick this up. But we tend to eat quite a bit of rice at our house. Um, if you're Haitian, you know, we tend to eat a lot of rice. So we were running low and I wanted to grab some of these. Next, I picked up some string cheese. I love having these on hand, especially as a late night snack. Um, you know, being pregnant, I get quite hungry sometimes at night. And if I don't feel like having such a big meal, I'll just grab a string cheese and I'll grab a carrot carrot orange and there's a little snack that I'll get me through tomorrow, to, to the next day. I also picked up some Danimal smoothies. My, my son loves having Danimal's yogurt, so we, and this turns out to be such a great little breakfast item that he loves to have, and it's quick and easy. Have it with some granola and some fruit, and breakfast is ready. I also picked up some Mexican-style cheese. We love cheese in our house. Um, I used to make pasta, obviously put on top of salads, anything, or wraps, salads, anything like that. So eggs, this is something that we tend to have to buy every single week. I also picked up some fish sticks. Again, this is another quick lunch item for our kids. Um, we'll have this with some potato puffs or something like that um, and some vegetables. I picked up some pretzels. Now this is something that we buy maybe once every two to three weeks because we don't go through it a lot. They'll typically have these on their snack platters. So after their nap time, I'll to get them over so they wake up from that to around 3.30 or 3 or 3.30 to get them over to dinner, I'll make a snack platter that has like some pretzels, a cookie, and some kind of fruit and vegetable, and that'll hold them over and they can just pick through it as they go to hold them to dinner. I got some yellow corn tortilla chips. My son, my daughter and the son love these and it's actually really good. I'll eat them too um, with salsa if I have that on hand or just eat it plain. They're so, so good. Also picked up some fruit snacks. Again, this is something that we pick up every week. My kids love, love, love these. It's already open because they when we were coming back from the grocery store. They wanted to have one in the car, and of course, they were good at the grocery store, so they get a snack. I picked up some mini alphabet cookies. My son loves these. These come in little pouches, so I think they come with 12 in a, in a box. And I will, when we're going out, or if we need something quick on the on the way, or you know, just something quick to hand over to him. He loves these and they're so easy. So we usually buy these maybe once every two weeks because we don't go through them quite quickly as um, normal other snacks. I also picked up his favorite animal crackers. These ones are so good actually. And so I'll put these on a, their snack platter and we'll probably buy this once a week because this is something that we'll take out more often than others. Now, now I'm done going through everything that we bought this week. This whole haul costs $111. Yes, we went $11 over budget, and I'm not too surprised just because we were really low on everything. Um, we tend to go grocery shopping every Monday, now it's Tuesday, and so we were really, really running low on fumes. So I wasn't too shocked that um, we kind of went a little bit over budget. We bought more vegetables than we normally do, and um, some other items that we don't normally buy, and you know, that was okay with going a little bit over budget. But if we didn't buy like kind of like some of the convenience items like bread or like the strawberry preserves or, um, kind of getting the rice, which is not something I normally get every week, or even the potato puffs or something like that, we probably would have stayed right on target for what we were thinking, which is about hundred bucks or less, and that would have been great. But we knew, I knew that I was gonna go a little bit over a hundred dollars and that was okay. And it's, not, it's about $11 lower, so we're okay with that. I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you some ideas for how we eat through our food every week. You know, it's a family of four, so me, my husband, my two kids, and we we're both work from home, and so we eat all three meals at home. And this is how we go through our groceries every single week by pretty much trying to stick to our budget, <laughs> eating everything that we buy, and keeping our meals simple. Um, although we do add things new to our meal plan, we kind of just kind of stick to the basics and make simple meals that kind of cause us to actually eat through everything that we do buy. Um, if you like this type of video, please do me a favor and like and subscribe below. It really, really helps my channel. It lets me know actually what you guys love to see. Um, and let me know below what you guys actually do and how do you stick to your budget, because I definitely can use tips. So let me know how you stick to your budget every week about how do you go about grocery shopping. And I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye.